Hey YouTube, what's up? I'm coming at you with a kind of different video here. I'm currently at where I'm living and working now at a <laughs> undisclosed Missouri State Park. I'm just coming at you with a real quick unboxing video on what can arguably be one of the most important pieces of kit that you can do. Now, I run chainsaws a lot. I do a lot of work uh, constructing trails, doing fire lines, doing a bunch of things like that. One of the things that I need on a daily basis is a proper blowout kit. Now, these things are useful whether you have formal medic uh, medical training or not, whether that includes something as simple as the, uh, I believe it's the Red Cross does the Stop the Bleed training, which super good training. If you're looking for nothing else, it's probably one of the most basic and one of the most important life-saving trainings that I believe that you can get. Uh, personally, I am a certified wilderness first responder through Adventure Medical Associates. Um, it's sort of in between. I'm not quite an EMT, but there's a, actually I'm very much not an EMT. It's sort of not the basis of the training. Uh, my certifications pretty much allow me to do what I need to keep people alive in a wilderness context. So now with that in mind, with what I'm doing for work, um, I've been looking for a good kit that's all together and uh, came upon the Chinook Medical Life Kit. Now this is the advanced kit. They have a basic and intermediate and an advanced. The only difference is that the intermediate contains um, quick clock gauze and the advanced has the quick clock gauze as well as hyphen chest seals. Um, otherwise the contents are going to be like I show you here. You can get them for as cheaply as $35 and as much as $90 depending on the kind of tourniquet that you get. But um, we'll get into this here. Sorry about the jump cut, guys, but I had to get all the stuff out of here. And I will say, it's uh, very tightly and uh, compressed inside this kit. So if you're looking to keep the kit all together and have it packed down into a small area, you do a good job of that. Now, like I said, this is the advanced kit. Uh, what it includes in this kit is a uh, fine tip Sharpie, just uh, which is super important, especially if you have a tourniquet. As soon as you put the tourniquet on, you want to get that time written down see actual name brand hyphen chest seals um, compressed gauze good for wound pack um, actual click, quick clot dressing and an Israeli combat bandage um, as well as gloves and I chose to get the cat gen 7 tourniquet you can see it comes in orange now one thing that I thought was kind of cool is that this tourniquet actually came pre-staged now if you don't know what I mean by staged whenever you get especially a cat tourniquet like this first thing that you want to do is make sure that the windlass is clear to be able to go into there and you have the, uh, the time uh, band pushed off to the side. One of the first things think that go in a emergency situation is your fine motor skills. A lot of people have a hard enough time turning a windlass, let alone grabbing Velcro and trying to remove that to be able to get the windlass in. But what you'll see, um, if I had more than one hand, is that this is already set up to where you can pull this open and you've got a large area that you can already um, pull your arm or leg or somebody else's arm or leg through and I think that's important especially because if you're running chainsaws or doing things like I'm doing the only person that's going to be able to get a tourniquet on you fast enough to save your life is likely you if you cut a femoral you've got like 30 seconds maybe up to a minute to be able to get that tourniquet on there before you pass out. You can bleed out as quickly as three minutes, depending on how bad the spurting arterial bleed is. So uh, it's an important tool to have on you and to be able to apply it to yourself. Um, all in all, this is a very, I don't want to say bare bones, but it's everything you need and nothing that you don't. Um, personally, I think the survival blanket for treating shock is kind of inadequate. It, like, yes, it's a, it's a mylar blanket. They are what they are. Um, in some of my other positions in the summer, I work on Lake Superior, and one of the big things that we have to deal with is uh, immersion injuries, so either somebody being hypothermic or drowning or something along those lines. And so I will probably be upgrading that survival blanket to one of the SOL bivvies because being able to throw somebody in a reflective bag to warm back up is going to be a lot more effective than them trying to 
wrap a mylar blanket around them. So looking at here, it's all the name brand. Like I said, it's the proper equipment for the job. I don't remember if I mentioned this or not, but it does come with instructions for all of this stuff. Uh, I would ding it for being paper, but as long as you keep it in the actual packaging, it'll be more than adequate. It'll It'll help somebody who doesn't otherwise know how to use these supplies be able to use them in an emergency. Now, like I said, you can get the basic with a stretch wrap and tuck or SWAT T tourniquet as cheap as $35. I think for most people, depending on your response, that's perfectly adequate. I, being somebody who's around dangerous objects, chainsaws, things like that, I've opted to go with a tourniquet that I can self-apply, especially one-handed if necessary. And I wanted to have hyphen chest seals. Uh, I'm around shooting a little bit more, so if also if you're anyone that's around firearms and wants a proper blowout kit just in case the worst happens and um, you have to deal with a sucking chest wound of some kind from a gunshot, having a proper factory occlusive dressing is a real benefit. Um, it's no secret that rural southern Missouri is rife with meth heads and tweakers, and I would say that there's <laughs> a higher chance of me running into gunshot wounds or something of that nature in the area that I'm currently working in. Not to say that I think it's going to happen, but the propensity's there. And for the added cost, I think the value is significantly greater. So uh, that's just sort of an unpacking. Hopefully I won't be able, hopefully I won't have to use any of this anytime soon. But if the need arises, I'll make sure to have what I need on me. Um, in a subsequent video, I will probably show you the kit that I'm going to be carrying all of this in and sort of my at work everyday carry for trail maintenance, fire line construction with uh, State Parks, National Park Service, whoever I end up working with during the season. So uh, I hope that this made, I hope this was entertaining. I hope this uh, brought to your attention the Chinook Medical Life Kit. Uh, I think it's probably the best everything you need and nothing that you don't kit currently available on the market. It's going to be a little bit pricey, but for truly life-saving essential tools, I think it's well worth the money. So uh, that's it for this time. Like, subscribe, do what you got to do. I'll see y'all on the next one.